Welcome to another Prince August demonstration. Today we're going to discuss different melting times for different metals that we currently sell. We're using model metal for the first demonstration and have, uh, as you can see here, placed a little block of metal that we've broken off from an ingot into an empty ladle. The hot plate is a standard hot plate. We've turned up to full power. Uh, it's about 1400 volts of power in it. And while we've sped up the clock a little bit, it takes a few minutes for the metal to even begin to change shape. As you can see here, at about one and a half minutes, you can begin to see the metal slowly begin to melt at the edges and it slowly begins to collapse in on itself and form a puddle. This temperature is at least 140 degrees Celsius, but that's not necessarily hot enough for you to pour into a mold. It requires a further heat of at least 300 degrees Celsius before you can start using it in your molds. So again, make sure that you've stirred up your metal and that you've made sure that it's liquid all the way through and completely runny and not, not uh, the consistency of thick honey. See here, stirring it up, you can see the, it doesn't leave any marks behind and there's no uh, grooves. Now we're going to look at 5 star metal. 5 star is a, is a form of pewter and has a much higher melting point and casting temperature than model metal. I have added half a bar of 5 star metal into a cold ladle uh, to begin the process. As you can see here, it, uh, it takes up about 15 to 16 minutes before it even begins to start melting. And it's also much slower to completely collapse in on itself. Even after 20 minutes of heat on the hot plate at the exact same temperature that the model metal melted at, it's still far from completely melted. The temperature for 5 star metal is 230 degrees Celsius at least before it starts to, to melt. It takes at least 325 degrees Celsius before it can be used to cast with. It is vital that you give it an, enough time to completely melt down before you start pouring into a mold or you have simply resulted in it will pre-cool before it has a chance to completely fill the mold. As you can see here I've given the ladle a little shake to help it start out but it takes a while for the metal to properly melt down to a completely liquid state. You do not want it to be just gooey. You want it to be completely runny, almost like water. Comparing that to model metal, it takes up to 24 minutes before your 5 star metal has completely melted from a cold ladle. Of course, if you have a hot ladle, it'll improve the speed, and especially if you already have hot metal already present in the ladle, the 5 star metal will melt a lot faster. But from a cold ladle, it takes that long. No matter what metal you use, you should always make sure that you do a test with a little wooden stick to see if it's hot enough. By placing a wooden stick in your liquid metal, and we have model metal here, a pan of model metal, you can see after 10 seconds that it should be a little bit of light smoke coming out of it. We do this again, hold the stick in for about 10 seconds, and gently release, uh, take it back out, and you can see in slow motion there, smoke coming off the wooden end of the stick. Now it's ready to pour. It's also important to uh, scrape away any residue on the surface of the metal before pouring to avoid any slag going into the mold. You don't have to remove the slag, just move it away from the nozzle where you're going to pour.